Hey guys, welcome back to our continuing coverage at the 2015 NAB Show. I'm John P. And I'm Scott Ellis, and our next guest is from a company that I've always known. Near and dear for, to your heart. They I are think. near and dear to my heart, because as a musician, I've always known them for their musical gear. That's right. And equipment, but today we're going to look at some video stuff. Expanding the vision on. with Rob. Thanks, Rob, from co to come join us from Roland. Yeah, thank you very much, guys. Appreciate it. Good to have you here. Good so to have you here. You've got a cool looking little box over there with lots of sliders and buttons. Usually I'm not allowed to even touch these things. They Still just not. keep me far away <laughs> from it. Okay, but uh, one thing that I see uh, from way over here, it says multi format AV mixer. That's right. The V in there throws me off a little bit because that makes me assume that that stands for video. So what do we got? Well, you're exactly right. It is a multi-format uh, audio and video mixer, switcher. Um, the cool thing about it is you know the history of Roland. Uh, we've been an audio company for a long time, but we've actually been making video products for at least 15 years now. Wow. And uh, our first video mixer uh, we released in 1998, and we've gone to like more live production switchers for that. Um, but it actually is an integrated audio mixer and video mixer. And the cool thing about this is it actually combines the audio and video together and it outputs it through a USB port on the back for streaming or recording. So it's actually USB 3.0. You can uh, stream out all the way up to 1080p. Okay, hang on a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so let me just ask you a hypothetical question. If we wanted to do a live stream like this one, yeah. and let's say we had four cameras and four microphones, you're telling me we're going to shove them all into that box and it's going to output it through USB 3 into a computer that we then set, we, does it show up on that computer as like a, like a, like a camera essentially? It does. It and then we take that and we feed it right to YouTube. Exactly. For example. It, it basically, um, we use what we call a, a USB audio and video class driver, compliant driver. So there's actually no uh, drivers to install on your Mac or PC. You literally plug it in and it shows up as a webcam, both That's the audio and video. So you can go into, um, you can go into Ustream or um, you can go into Flash Media Live Encoder and then send it to your content delivery network. So it is a great way to quickly and easily uh, produce a live event just like this where you had four cameras, four microphones that combines it all together and, and spits it out through the USB 3 port. I don't even have the patience to ask. I want to know how much it costs. <laughs> well, um, I, I, we're going to get to the features. Even hit, wait. Me with, hit me with the bottom line. How, about, how bad is this going to hurt right me now. right now? <laughs> how, how bad is that going to hurt? <laughs> well, it, it streets out for right around $7,500. That is not bad not at not all. Not bad at all. So there's, it's actually a 12 input <clears throat> video mixer and 12 input audio mixer as well. So even though it's four channels, I actually can, uh, if I go to my inputs assignment here, uh, input, four, uh, input number one, I can select from SDI, HDMI, composite. You've got SDI, wow, composite? Does yeah, anybody so even you have that anymore? Yeah, well, interesting because it is multi-format. It's got scaling on every single one of the channels. So I can take a standard definition signal from my legacy video studio, and I can scale it all the way up to uh, a 1080p signal. Wow. Now, can I pull all those in at once and switch between them on yeah, the fly? Yeah, even exactly. Within the channels? So here's the back of the unit. Um, you can have 12 devices plugged in all at the same time. So I've got my four SDI inputs, four HDMI inputs, two composite, and I've got two RGB and components. So I even have the legacy HD uh, cameras that still have the RGB out, like the three wire. I can plug that right into there and I can scale it all up into one resolution. Wow. And then for audio, it looks like we've got XLR and quarter four inch. Four XLRs. Yep. yep, four XLRs. Four XLR or quarter. Or Correct. Quarter. And then you have uh, TRS and RCA. Plus, obviously you could also have audio embedded from the SDI signal or the HDMI signal. And you can go into the menu and select if you're going to be mixing audio from SDI or HDMI from the video. And everything's out USB everything's 3 out or USB, USB 3 or USB 2.0. Wow. USB 2.0, you're going to be sending out a 480 signal typically. Right. Um, we, we recommend not trying to send out 720. It will send out 720 as well. Uh, the USB stream and recording is selectable on your, on your format output. But I also see that you've got HDMI output, so I'm assuming yeah. that's going to push out the full video and audio feed that you're mixing, right? Abs 
absolutely. So you could take that and you could go from there into, let's say, like a little Teradek box. Exactly, and stream from there without even having a computer. The only thing you wouldn't have then is you wouldn't have things like lower thirds and stuff like that, I guess. Well, you can build in your lower thirds. Let's say, for example, um, you could use one of the inputs from, like, say, input four, and you could have that coming from your computer running like a keynote or PowerPoint on a black background. You can create all your lower thirds and, to be, you know, send those in. Wait, you can have pink. multiple videos, like, overlaid, essentially? Yeah, there's four layers of composition. So I can oh. do picture-in-picture. Picture. I can do two picture-in-pictures. I can also do a key fill, and I also have a still image as well. So, for example, you know, we can do... Um, we can do a, a logo on, you know, Roland or whatever and, and import that through the USB port and it has a still store in there and then I can use that as my bug and wow. do my lower thirds and a picture in picture all at the same time and switch the background. Wow. So okay. you have four layers of composition that allows you to do like a full production like we're doing here. And are we pushing out 1080? Yeah. 4K? Yeah, uh, not 4K. Uh, not 4K yet? But we're, 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 we can push all the way up to 1080 output. If I go to my menu, um, I actually have an output resolution uh, selection here. So um, I like that it's touch screen. Yeah, yeah it's touch screen. Crazy. Um, on the video output, I can also uh, I've also got scaling capabilities. So say for example, I am doing a live presentation. I actually have screens around me. Um, I can actually push this out. This is, has one frame of latency, so I can do a live production here and not actually have lip sync issues where you actually see my lips and then uh -huh. my lips move back <laughs> over there. You hear the audio. Um, and also stream at the same time. That's so. amazing. It, it, there's a couple of uh, jacks here on the front. I'm yep. assuming a headphone monitoring. Yeah, there's a quarter inch uh, headphone jack and also eighth inch headphone jack. So either one. Yeah, either one. Um, I think it's great for um, live events like this. Um, I do a lot of sports broadcasting with it. It's a great portable little device. I, I bring my laptop, this couple of cameras, couple headphone uh, microphones. You it's throw it great. in like a Pelican case or what? Yeah, throw it in. There's actually we. Um, there's a company out there that makes a, uh, a specific case for that. It's got a, like a foam insert. Yeah, and you just pop it right in my, there. And my case builder. We had them on the show yesterday. They would actually cut a custom, you know, yeah. a custom case foam, for it. Foam yeah, foam out thing. For it. Yep. Yeah. This also um, has rack your options. So if I wanted to, I could put it in a rack system and like a mobile cart that type yeah. of thing and cart it around. Very good. Which we see a lot of corporate AV professionals out there. Um, adopting this for doing, you know, corporate AV meetings, um, trainings, that kind of thing, where they're actually um, moving it around campuses. It's companies like Amazon and Bayer and those type of companies are adopting this product because it's really easy to use. The nice thing about it is you can integrate it with anything like Skype. Um, you can integrate it with GoToMeeting, so you can do your trainings and events all with this little box. Okay, so we already know how much it's going to cost. Mm -hmm. Now where do we go get it? <laughs> and we, <when>? have, <laughs> we have a whole list of authorized resellers across the U.S. We have a couple of tiers of authorized resellers. One of them is we call our premier video resellers. Mm -hmm. And all of those premier video resellers actually have one of these boxes in their showroom. So you can go test it out, test drive it, see how it works. Um, they'll come to your facility and you can plug it in and see how it works. But we have a number of um, other online resellers as well and, and box stores that sell this product. So Virtually anywhere. Awesome. Virtually oh, anywhere. Excellent. All right. Well, thanks for coming to show us. It's the VR 50 HD. 50 HD. From so Rowan. Keep an eye on it. Look for it. And uh, keep an eye on us because we'll be back with more right after this short break. <laughs>